I grew up using western style saws and as a young man I read about these Japanese pull saws and their narrow kerf and was intrigued and in the 1990s I think I was in a Rockler and I purchased the saw and I fell in love with it almost immediately. The uh, narrow kerf makes for a mess, much less laborious effort when doing a cross cut and I liked the saw so much that I carried it in my truck as the go-to hand saw when I needed one and you can see down here by the spine it's flexed so many times that the metal has fatigued and broken and several of the teeth here are broken probably from misuse had a tough time figuring out how to replace the blade I had heard they were replaceable I was never able to get this blade out and then I saw the technique is you hold it and give it several whacks like so and it comes loose once I knew the blade did indeed come out, I was able to buy a duplicate replacement and I can put that in and now I have a new saw, which is very nice. I enjoy these pull saws so much that I carry this. This is a Ryoba. It's two sets of teeth, fine on one side for cross cut, coarse on the other for ripping. And this comes apart, and I can carry the two pieces in my tool bag. And again, every now and then a knife isn't enough, or a chisel. And you don't want to go down to your truck and get a battery-operated saw. So it's very convenient to be able to just pull this guy out and do a little bit of light cutting. And this Ryoba I picked up at Harbor Freight. They're not very expensive, and I carry this one in my truck. And I also have one of these that I use in my workshop whenever I have to do some rough cutting and I don't need the precision of this guy I typically reach for this guy so I'm really happy about this this has been one of my favorite tools for a good 20 years and I was lamenting the fact that it was getting beaten up and I'm pleased that you can actually replace it very easily so I did this video in case there's any of you that were in a similar position to me the original blade I turned into a scraper, a non-linear one or curved one, and uh, that's another video. If you're watching this, uh, the video might be posted. If not, keep an eye out for it. I plan to get it out shortly. And this is the original blade. I used this saw to make the kerf for this scraper. It's the narrowest kerf saw I have in my shop. And uh, again, very useful. This is a very useful tool. This is a very useful tool, and I decided I'm probably going to keep this because these teeth are actually in pretty good shape, and yeah, who knows, there might be a chance when I actually need a tiny little saw. So that's all I have. Thanks for coming by as always and see what I have going on. If you like what you see, let me know. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe. I always like reading the comments, and I look forward to catching up with you all in the next one.